Another closing day. God's definitely watching over us. Okay, I think I have everything. I'm running behind. Um, I've got to get to Stillwater closing. I printed off everything. I brought Aubrey and I's house live on the MLS. And uh, got to gotta get to closing. I'll see you guys uh, shortly. Okay, um, ah, gotta do my mileage. Hold on a second. Okay, um, whew, spent yesterday on the utility room and I completely forgot to bring you along the way. Sorry about that. Um, at the old house. Got the utility room all cleaned out. Um, put everything in our garage here at the new place. And now, uh, today, I'm gonna grab all the um, tools from the other place after my 12 o'clock closing and load them up in here and I, and I brought the property live. I brought the property live. You know, I don't, I was advertising it on Facebook Marketplace and I was advertising it on um, Craigslist and I'm getting hits. I've probably got at least 20 people interested in it, but um, you know, no one, 100% prequel. No one 100% prequel. So since, since I don't have incoming any call, press the pickup button to answer. I went ahead and just uh, brought it live. Incoming call. This is Josh. How may I help you? Josh, I'm interested in a house that's pending contract, 12301 Arthur Avenue. And okay. I wondered if you could call me for it falls through. Well, do you have any idea when it might be closing? Or? I think it's closing next week. Um, does this does this phone number text message? Yes. Can you text me your contact info? You caught me on the highway. Um, yeah. And I'll save that info. Mm -hmm. um, and then do you have an agent that's helping you? Yes. Okay, perfect. And put their uh, contact info in there too, because I want to reach out. If anything does fall through, I'll be reaching out to your agent to let them know I don't want to step on anyone's toes. Okay, what are the odds it's been three weeks? Three what? weeks. What are the odds of it going out of contract? Going out of contract? Yeah. Yeah. At, at this stage, it would only the only way it'd go under contract is if. There was a major loss on the buyer's side. Oh, okay. So, well, probably. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking my call. Yes, ma'am. And I like keeping track of how people found me. Do you uh, remember how you found my number? Well, I'm on the Trulia website, and you're listed as a listing agent. Okay, off of Trulia. Okay, cool. Well, hey, I really appreciate it. I'll be looking for your text message, and if anything happens, I'll definitely let your agent know. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye. When a buyer calls me like that, uh, they're super eager, which is a good thing. Um, but I got the thing closing in a couple weeks, so uh, if they text me their info, I'll definitely let their agent know if something falls out. And what I do when I get those text messages is I just email them to myself, and uh, that way I have it inside that file in the email. But yeah, um, at that, that contract, unless there's a major loss on the buyer's side, nothing's going to fall out about that. So, I don't remember where I was at, but I'm running behind on my way to closing. And I brought the property live this morning. And I double checked on a closing date for another property that I believe is closing this week, but it's a cash deal. And it's, it's going so fast, so fast. I'm just trying to, 
about it. And yeah, I've just got to spend some time tonight and get caught up on the pending files. Make sure they're all lined out, good to go. And yeah, we've got a closing today. God's blessed us. This is closing number 43 for the year and things of that nature. Let me run a scenario by you. You guys that are in the real estate business. Me, it's common practice. Unless a buyer's pre-approved, then we don't schedule any showings. Because there's only 24 hours in a day. So if a buyer's not pre-approved, and there's not someone, if they're doing financing, and if there's not a letter that says, hey, based on a phone call, based on initial credit pull, and based on what the buyers told me, I can give this person a loan. I don't show them. We don't show them houses. We just don't. There's 24 hours a day, and, you know, we work to live, not live to work. So, uh, we help people buy and sell houses. No question about that. We help qualified people buy houses. And even our sellers, too. We tell our sellers before we list their house, hey, have you checked with the lender to make sure you can buy the next house? Because there's no reason to sell this house if you can't buy the next house unless you have somewhere to live, unless you're going to go rent or something. We, we make all of our customers, now that I think about it, get pre-qualified. Yeah, we actually do. So, um, I reached out to a lender yesterday. asking for the customer's prequel because the customer told me who their lender was. And the lender, I don't know what's going on in their life. I don't know anything about them. Their lender was very aggressive. And I just need a prequel lender because the buyer wants to see my own personal home and I'm not showing my own personal home to unqualified buyers. Uh, so I clarified with the lender, are you? So is, are they not approved? Because their response was aggressive and it wasn't, yes, they're approved, or, or it wasn't, here's a copy of their pre-approval letter. It, it was something else that, that was not a copy of the pre-approval letter. So I said, are they not pre-approved, question mark. And they were aggressive again. And like I said, I don't know what's going on in that lender's life, but do you guys always verify people? And, and for a safety standpoint too, like, I don't know these people from Facebook. I don't know these people from Craigslist. I don't know if they're really who they say they are. You know, there's all those crazy reports that agents are um, being uh, killed. Number one, being killed. So you got to verify who, who the people are. Um, kidnapped and tortured. So you got to prove to who the people are. Um, but have you ever had a lender not give you a pre approval letter? Have you ever had that before?
Okay, so um, went to the closing, closed it. That's awesome. Went to Walmart, got the envelopes, 150 of them, number 10. Uh, I just need, I need envelopes, man. You'd be surprised how many envelopes I use. Wow, that person's crazy. It's 55 up here, and there's always highway patrolmen up at the top of this hill around this turn. That person's crazy. Okay, I don't see any right now. That would have been funny. It would have been funny. I shouldn't feel that way. I gotta get better. Oh, I've got all my... I've got not all my tools. I've got a lot of my tools behind me from the other house. Oh, going to a photo shoot right now. My stomach is in knots today. I'm just, just not running on all cylinders. I think it's because little man and little baby, they're teething right now, and I just want to be at home and hold them. I'm having to work. I love my wife, man. She's, she takes care of those kids. She's, she's awesome. Man, I got to get some more coffee. I ran out of envelopes. That's why I had to get those new ones. I've got to mail my quarterly statement to the IRS, and I've got to mail my check to my accountant. Someone driving down the road with their hand out the window. I used to do that when I was little. You know, do the whole air thing and stuff like that. I'm too old and enjoy air conditioning too much nowadays to do that. Oh. Just been checking in with people, checking in with our new recruits. I've got to call one of our newest recruits, check in with her, some chatting or questions. Brad is doing his online training already, which is awesome. I told him about Dan Woods, real estate training too. If you guys don't know Dan Woods, I don't think I've mentioned him in a while. Amazing, amazing online training, Facebook ads, Google ads. Uh, it's really amazing stuff. Recommend watching him. He's got a coaching program. Also, 20 bucks a month, I believe. He does, uh, I don't know what he does on it. I've never signed up for it. But, uh, amazing guy. I think he's out of Canada. I think he's out of Canada, too. That's cool. Oh, I lost a hubcap. Yeah, that sign I was getting in the field for the closing that I just had, I lost a hubcap. So I gotta stop by AutoZone or Parts Plus or something. I think there's a new AutoZone over by the photo shoot that I'm going to. So I'll go to that AutoZone and see if they have some matching hubcaps that I can buy. What's, what's annoying is when I buy one, I have to buy them in four packs. Yeah, I have to buy them in four packs because they don't sell them just in one. But as my old ones get worn out, I can replace them with the new ones. So it works out. But, uh, yeah, I can't believe I lost my help cap. Alright. I just wanted to check it with you guys, let you know where I was at. I'm going to make a couple more phone calls before my photo shoot. Uh, Tracy's not going to make the photo shoot, so I'll swing by her house after the photo shoot. Grab three of my lock boxes. Uh, I'm running out of lock boxes. God's blessing us with all this listing inventory right now, so I've got to make sure I'm stocked up on that. Man, there's an excursion. Those things are huge. Monster, monster trucks. <laughs> 